Hey, I'm Monique Pickram and welcome to Storytime with the Houston Public Library. Today we'll be reading Emma's Turtle, written by Eve Bunting and illustrated by Marsha Winborn. We'd like to thank Boyd's, Mills, and Canes for giving us permission to read this book. I am Emma's turtle. I live in a pen in her backyard. Emma visits me often and brings me snacks. I let her stroke my head. She sits in her swing and reads to me of the world and places that are far, far away. She shows me pictures of elephants in Africa and kangaroos in Australia. There are tigers in India and panda bears in China. It is all quite amazing. My life is good, but I often dream of the world that is far, far away. One day, I tell myself to stop dreaming and go. I dig a hole under the wire of my pen and squeeze out. I'm walking in this place I've never walked before. My legs are short and the grass is long. I think this must be a jungle. Perhaps I am in Africa. Is that an elephant leg in front of me? Oh, I'm going to be squished. No, it is the stump of some strange jungle tree. I plod on. I've come so far now that I think this must be Australia. Is that a kangaroo leaping through the grassland? No, it's a frog, but since it's an Australian frog, it is very interesting. Frogs certainly move fast. I hear bells chime. Ah, they must be temple bells, and this must be India. Yikes, is that a tiger? I pull my two shells together so he can't eat me, but when I peep out, I see it's just the silly striped cat from next door. I never knew he sometimes visited India. An Indian beetle watches me. He looks exactly like other beetles I've known. We are eyes to eyes. It's nice here in India, I tell him, but come visit me in the United States. It is nice there too. I may do that, he says. I gaze around. Do you know where the United States is from here? I ask. Sorry, he says, and crawls off. I am worried. I have come so far. Will I be able to find my way home? Will I have to stay in India forever? A voice is calling. Turtle, turtle, where are you? Hooray, it's my Emma. I am here in India, I say, but I am using turtle talk and she doesn't understand. She sees me and picks me up. Thank goodness I found you. Thank goodness. It is so good to be off my feet. I let her stroke my head. She has brought a snail for me in her pocket. It is fat and juicy and splendid. Emma carries me back and sets me in my pen. Strawberry slices are scattered about for my supper. I am tired, but I can still eat. Emma leans across my wire fence. Poor turtle, she croons. I bet it took you all day to go from one end of our yard to the other. I hope it was exciting for you. Did I really go only from one end of the yard to the other? Astonishing. Still, it is exciting to have the whole world here in my backyard. I settle to sleep. A traveling turtle needs his rest. Tomorrow I will dig another hole. I need to go again and find China. The end. Thank you for joining us today. Hope to see you soon. Bye.